All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, quick update video that I am making real quick for everyone is uh, I've gotten a few different questions on uh, the assignment that's technically due, I guess, midnight tonight, uh, ratios of special right triangles. Um, there was a video that went out on Monday morning about special right triangles. So this is going to be a short video that just hopefully clears up some of those ideas. It does require you to think back to what you've learned in previous classes and earlier in the year in our class. Um, and that's okay. Um, if you forgot that, we'll, we're just going to use this video to kind of remind you of some of the rules about radicals when you have um, answers that are radical. And um, I am going to extend the deadline. So there is still the new assignment um, that went up today, but I am going to extend the deadline for this one so that both assignments will then be due on Sunday. So I will post that as a correction and I will make those changes. Um, in the meantime, though, let's take a look at this problem here. So we have a right triangle, okay, and it's got a 45, 45 uh, degree angles. So that is a thing, okay, and we've got X and 3. So let's take a look at what we have here. Okay, so we've got our right triangle. We've got X. We've got 3. This is a 45 45 triangle. So there were two triangles that we wanted to memorize, okay, and one of them happens to be a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. We have 1, 1, and radical 2. The other one, which we're not going to use right now, but just so that we have it, is our 30, 60, 90 right triangle, and that is 1, radical 3 and 2. So we're not going to use this one because it has the angles 30 and 60. We're looking for something with the angles 45 and 45. So if you remember, it's simply just setting up a ratio, which I don't think this is where the questions are coming in. Um, so again, it's like if I'm going to do this one as x over 3, then my ratio over here would have to be 1 over radical 2. Um, and so what happens here is I have to uh, basically cross multiply. Um, so when I cross multiply here, I end up with radical 2 and an x, and then I end up with 3. I have to divide by radical 2, and this is the part that I think has gotten everyone. So you're getting x equals 3 over radical 2, and you're saying, excellent, I'm done, and you're putting that answer into delta math. Delta math is going to tell you that you are wrong. And the reason that delta math is going to tell you that you are wrong is because you are not allowed to have a radical in the denominator, okay? So you are never allowed to have a radical in the denominator. One of the rules of radicals, okay? So if you forgot this rule, don't worry, it's okay. So we're going to take 3 radical 2, and we're going to have to do some modifications to it so that there is no longer a radical 2 in the denominator. At this point, we're done with the problem. We're just looking for an equivalent answer that delta math is going to be happy with. Because delta math does, and, and the regents, I, I want to point this out, that if we were in a traditional classroom setting and we were talking about the regents and we were going to be taking the regents, the regions would require this as well. This is not something that's specific to like delta math, for example. In mathematics, we are never allowed to have a radical in the denominator. So because we can't have a radical in the denominator, we need to do what's called rationalize the denominator. And to do so is pretty easy. Okay. What we need to do is take the denominator, the radical, and we need to multiply top and bottom by radical 2. Because radical 2 times radical 2, if you plug that into your calculator, is just the number 2. So what we end up getting here is radical 2 times radical 2, which is 2, and then we get 3 times radical 2, which is 3 radical 2. Now, the only other step we really have to worry about here with these kind of problems, generally, is if there is a radical, 
and we've done this rationalization, we just want to check that we can't reduce 3 over 2. So for example, just a total side not related to this problem, if I had 6 radical 2 over 4, after rationalizing, I would want to turn that into 3 radical 2 over 2. I would want to take a 2 out of the top and bottom so that I could reduce to simplest form. Okay, so when you rationalize, you still want to reduce to simplest form. So our final answer here is 3 radical 2 over 2. Okay, so anytime you get a radical in the denominator, you want to make sure you cover that. So um, if we look at it, just this example here that I pulled off, you get 1 times 3 radical 2. So you get 3 divided by radical 2. You'll see here we have to rationalize the denominator, and then we get the radical that is the simplified answer, and that's what we have to put into the calculator. Okay, sometimes we don't need to. Sometimes we're just going to get a ratio, and it's just going to be uh, simply a whole number. Okay, other times, again, we're going to have to reduce and simplify. So I apologize that I didn't come up with one of those examples in the first uh, video. Uh, there's a lot of different examples, so we just I never got one of those. Um, but it is a review topic, so there's just a quick review video for you, kind of demonstrating how that works, how that goes. Um, I hope that you uh, find this informative. I hope this helps you to complete the assignment. And again, I'll be extending all the deadlines. You'll see that as a comment on the assignment. So uh, if you're, you know, just seeing the update now, um, please feel free to, uh, you know, take some time with it and uh, definitely let me know if you have any further questions. All right. So hopefully that helps and I'll see you guys on the next one.